how to set up the account. I'm gonna not. So what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna I'm not gonna follow instructions. I'm just gonna start it to see what it's gonna look like. So I'm going to try it now. Gmail.com and I'm gonna do it. Create my account. Really easy and fast. You're on the trial emerging entrepreneur until December 2nd. Okay, your name. Business name. Set up your first appointment type. These are the type of services clients can book with you. You'll be able to filter. You'll be paid more later. $25 duration of 60 minutes. Availability will be Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday will be... Mondays will be... 9.30. Next. Congratulations, you're joining thousands of business who save an average of eight hours a month while booking even more appointments. Get started. Customize your scheduling page. Appointment per slot. Okay, I'm gonna leave this because I don't know. Yes, I think I'll just leave this the way it is now. And then we'll figure it out later. Okay, then let's see. Okay, I'm happy with this now. Sync with other calendars. Connect to Google Calendar. Yes, definitely. Do not set a reminder before appointments. Yes, set a reminder before appointments. Sure which sheets gonna zoom. I want to set up my Zoom account. Connect to Zoom. Authorize. Okay. Uh, enable before no start meeting without video. Use personal ID meeting to. Yep, save, enable join before host. Use personal meeting ID to create meeting. Okay. Now, okay, let's go back to uh, sync with another payment setup. Payment setup, except credit card square, except with Stripe. I'm gonna set up with PayPal. Both Stripe and PayPal, both Square and PayPal. I'm doing Stripe and PayPal. Let me see what it does.
Okay, we'll leave this payment in full for now. Client will be rejected. PayPal website to pay for their appointment. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another PayPal account. Um, I already have a lavish of business a long time ago, so I'm going to sign up for one that's separate from this. Um, it's going to be a business account. I'm going to sign up as a business account because you can create invoices from there. No, I'm not. Enter your business name. Agree and create the account. Here's this type. I'm going to say individual, product financials. Not financial institution. Okay, ta-da. Okay, this is done. So what's going to happen is you can create all kinds of invoices and everything from here. And this, I can show you another day how to do it. This is probably be like my third or third, this is going to be like my fourth PayPal account. But there's one more step in which you need to do, which is you need to link your um, bank account to uh, send payments. Your PayPal email is going to be coachingwithwadi at gmail.com. Okay, so that's set up. Email settings. Let's go look at this. Okay, so this will be later. So this will be something that we can do later. Reminders. Let's go look at this. Up to three reminders. Email can be sent to your client. It's optional. Send this reminder 24 hours before the appointment. Send a text. And send the reminder to clients only. Okay. Cancellations. Same thing with these. Packages, gift certificates, subscription paid. Okay. Back to home. Let's go look at other integrations to see what else we want to integrate with. So I integrated Zoom. Let's see if PayPal is on here. Ah. Facebook, maybe. I don't have Facebook page yet, but maybe later. Zapier, maybe. PayPal. Okay, so that so those were the only two integrations that um, I think we uh, we needed. Here's an inform. This is a custom form. Let's go look at this. Form name is optional. That question. <coughs> Oh, okay, here we go. Discovery session. Description. Tell me more about why you want to teach. Question. What do you plan on achieving after, um, after this discovery session? And this one we're going to do choice. No, this is going to be required. And that question. This one we're going to cancel. So we, so, okay, so let's go look at this real quick. So the way that you, so what you want to do is we'll say this is a discovery session, right? And there's, tell me more about why you want, like, let's just change this, like, what do you want to learn? Okay. And then you can have these options of, like, what you want. So, Yes, no, checkbox list, drop down, drop down list, like, uh, maybe like, drop down might be, how did you hear about me? Right. Maybe, checklist. Let's see. Okay, how did you hear about me? Well, where's the drop down? Choice. How did you hear about me? Choice. B. Facebook. Uh, Instagram. Friends. Looks like a so question. Oh, and let's make let's make that one required though. This one needs to be 
So let's um, let's preview. See what it looks like. Let's view it live. More times. Okay, so that's some work that needs to be done there. Manage user, what's this? Uh, who else should be able to manage appointments in the building? Calendar receptionist, business partner, Aunt Louise. Okay, we don't have anybody. Intake form questions. Ooh, look at that. You can do something there. Appointments by type. Add uh, this one. Here we go. New type of service. This one will be um, discovery session. This is 30 minutes. Is $25. Create appointment type. Let's see that. Um, let's add a new, create a new group class. Coaching ninjas. This is a, this is a two hour class. Which one are minutes? And this one is going to be 250. Category. Here's some extra forms. Forms are optional, but useful to ask extra questions when clients book their appointments. You can set these up later in intake forms. Got it. Maximum is eight. Client must sign up for the times that this is offered. Yes. Okay. All right. Oh, not available. This class isn't being offered. Click edit to fix. Let's see. 